no question, Shaka. Uh, you've had uh, the privilege of uh, sharing social animities uh, with uh, President uh, Hagi. Uh, what makes him, uh, if you were to describe him in maybe simple terms, how would you describe uh, him? He is a very down-to-earth individual. He is a man, frankly, who means well. He is a man who is very easily accessible. He is a man that would qualify as a man of the people. There are others, of course, who say he's somewhat flamboyant. He likes good things. For example, he told me at one time, he used to have, in fact, his wardrobe, his suits made oh. the street that is called Saville Row in London. You just say that uh, he's a down-to-earth person. So if you're talking about uh, somebody who's shopping, he there, how is he? I mean, look, being a down-to-earth man doesn't mean you can't put on nice clothes. Well, if you're a politician, it means you're taking away from the people. Oh, not really. You can't say that because <laughs> this is a man, by the way, this is a man who is very well educated. He didn't start out like that. He started out as a teacher. He didn't stay in teaching for a long time. He left. He joined the struggle. Eventually, he came to the United States on scholarship. He got his first degree from Fordham University. He got another degree, a master's degree, from the New School of Social Research. After that, he go, gets a job at the United Nations as a political officer in 1972 and works there in 1973, uh, I think for about two years, actually. And after that, he becomes a director within the United Nations system, which gives you access to a quality life, my friend, and gives you the tools, frankly, that you need to do a lot of things. He has been able to help a lot of people uh, to get unfettered access to education, skills. He was heading a United Nations institution on Namibia, based in the Zambian capital, Lusaka, for 14 good years. Among the people that, that uh, in fact, during that time he hired was a young Ugandan, Dr. Rohakana Rugunda, who had just graduated from the University of Zambia Medical School during his exile. A guy from Kabale, who happens now to be the Ugandan Prime Minister. And they are still very good buddies.